Hi everyone, I'm out here with the C10 and I want to do a little upgrade to it just to kind of experiment. Board stuck at home, not much to do. Deadbolt isn't running right now. Well, I mean, technically it is, but the servo, the pinion inside is still slipping really bad and uh, I can't seem to get it to stay and I'm out of super glue. So, until I can get that fixed or a new servo or something. I can't really run the deadbolt much. I'm gonna try to later, but first, I'm gonna run this and show you the top speed, and then try to crawl over this little section here, like up this and over. See how slow I can do that, like the uh, throttle control. And then I have another stock motor, but I put a servo pinion on here from a 1 tenth scale servo like I did on the ECX Barrage a while ago if you were subscribed back when I had that thing. And we'll see what the power difference is because with the interior in this and all the added weight, it kind of needs a little boost in torque. I'm going to lose a little top end, but hopefully I'll gain good control and some torque using the stock motor. So let's get this thing fired up and we'll run it before I put that motor and pinion in and then we'll run it after. So this is actually the motor that come out of the deadbolt when I upgraded. So okay, here we go. First up, top speed. Next, we'll see how slow we can go. Okay, so now we go down and test the drag brake. Okay, so that's it for this. I'm gonna put the new motor on and we'll compare it. Again, this is as slow as I can go with the stock motor. And then full speed. So I'll be back and it'll have that other motor and pinion in it that motor over so now we've got a 10t servo pinion on here and we're gonna see what the difference is in control So now we're going to come down this, just like we did in the first run.
that's it. As you can see, it actually makes a big difference. There's a lot more control now. You can see how slow I can go, and there's a good amount more torque. Now, final spot, let's make sure it still makes it up this. As you can see, I can spin the tires much slower. Still gotta take a run now. Alright, so that's it for this video, everyone. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to smash that like button and to subscribe if you haven't already. We're almost to a thousand subscribers, which is awesome. Just a little bit more to go, so every little bit helps. Anyways, as you can see, this thing does a lot better with the smaller pinion on it. It has a lot more control, slow, and for crawling and stuff, but it still has a decent top end. So I think with the added weight in the wheels and tires and the interior, it's definitely going to help a ton. So as for the deadbolt, as soon as I can get that servo to work, uh, I had taken the millstone overweights off the rear but left the wideners and left the weights on the front. So it seems to do a lot better like that, but I lost full steering before I could actually test it out very much. But the next thing I want to do to that, after I can get the servo working, is I want to try and get this motor to work in it. It's a lot fatter, and it come out of the servo that I took the pinion out of. That's actually the stock pinion from the SCX24 on it. But I think this will do great. It should be a nice high torque motor. So we'll have to give that a try if I can get it to work. So until next time, TTFN, talk to you all later. Have a great one, everyone.